Coming up on today's episode of the Airborne Unlimited, One Aviation's Canada program is progressing. True Blue Power lithium ion batteries gain more STCs. A report on the Redbird migration. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's October 31st, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Last summer's One Aviation announcement of a much refined new version of the Eclipse platform is reportedly coming together. While initial sales activity has been called encouraging by One Aviation CEO Alan Kleppmeyer, additional physical details are either being defined or confirmed. The initial aims for the airframe are being validated as the R&D team completes design development, including the requirement for 24% less runway over the Eclipse 550, less time to climb to flight level 400, and a 1400 nautical mile range at max cruise speed with NBAA IFR reserves. They are also aiming at a cruise speed of 0.65 knot, all the way up to new operational ceiling of flight level 430 with an increased payload of 475 pounds over the current Eclipse. The new airframe will be 14 inches longer than its predecessor. ANN is covering the NBAA 2016 convention and will be interviewing Alan Kleppmeyer and other One Aviation officials to bring you more details. The use of lithium-ion mainship batteries continues to increase as the FAA issued supplemental type certificates to True Blue Power for their TB4446 amp hour lithium-ion batteries for use on Cessna Model 208 and 208B caravans and Bombardier-8 100, 200, and 300 series aircraft. This is the second FAA certification announcement for True Blue Power nanophosphate lithium-ion batteries issued this month indicating growing acceptance of the technology among government regulators, aircraft manufacturers, and operators industry-wide. The manufacturer says these batteries increase the power three times the energy per kilogram and have a useful life more than double lead acid and nickel cadmium batteries. They also tout its rapid recharging for back-to-back -back engine starts and the ability to perform in extreme temperatures. Rick Slater, the director for True Blue Power, said in part, whether carrying cargo for Federal Express medical supplies in Africa, fishermen in Alaska, or fare-paying passengers in Canada, Caravan and Dash 8 operators around the world require consistent, reliable power. The TB44 delivers that and more. After the break, Redbird migration grows in size. True Blue Power Advanced Lithium Ion Mainship Batteries feature proprietary nanophosphate technology. They deliver three times the energy density and are more than 40% lighter than lead acid or NICAD alternatives. RTCA tested, FAA certified, available to OEMs today. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. A well-attended 2016 Redbird Migration Flight Training Conference finished its last edition on an up note as the company announced a number of additions and transitions. Redbird Flight, in partnership with Bank of the Ozarks Business Aviation Group, have announced the formation of Redbird Finance. Through Redbird Finance, customers are offered equipment financing of a type and specificity that has not been previously available. In addition to the various keynote presentations, conference goers attended several breakout sessions. This year's event featured a unique team building exercise called Yukon, Build Something That Flies. The competition challenged participants to build a model aircraft 
out of a collection of parts from a mystery box that included a foam core, rubber bands, a propeller, super glue, a photo of Elvis Presley, and a can of Cheese Whiz. The designs were judged in multiple categories, and some models were even test flown. Realignments of Redbird's management team were also announced, with Uber boss Jerry Gregoire stepping aside to allow his son Charlie to take the helm while he pursues other projects. Todd Willinger remains Redbird's longtime CEO. Further, due to the size and complexity of this growing event, next year's migration will be held in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. Here's this week's Arrow Video of the Week. Final lift off. Firing a missile from an underwater submarine is pretty amazing stuff. But if you think that's cool, how about a man wearing a jetpack launching from underwater? Sounds like James Bond fiction, you say? Watch the video. Search Jetpack History Was Made Again on YouTube. After these messages, Piper M600 makes its NBAA debut. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Piper's M600 made its NBAA debut at this year's Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida this week. A production M600 is displayed on the ramp in a full-size cabin mock-up is displayed in the convention hall. According to a market research report on ASD Reports, the global UAV drones market size is expected to be $21.23 billion by 2022. That's an increase of almost 20%, and major factors are commercial applications and technology advancements. The Triumph Group has announced the receipt of an additional delivery order from Gulfstream for the production of wing and wing components for the G650 program. The add-on work is valued at approximately $300 million and extends through 2018. The pilotless QF-4 mission is winding down and two of the aircraft visited Hill Air Force Base last week so supporters of the F-4 Phantom IIs could see them one last time. These QF-4s are used in full-scale aerial target missions. Hawaiian Airlines will continue to assign seats on its Samoa route based on passenger weight. Discrimination complaints had been filed with the DOT, but it was ruled the airline policy is not discriminatory. The issue is appropriate weight distribution for aircraft performance. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's get back to the rest of the news. The NBAA Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition being held this week had already announced the intent to dedicate this year's conference to American icon Arnold Palmer, and they have now announced they will likewise honor the legacy of a second national treasure, Bob Hoover. The aviation community lost both individuals within the past several weeks. NBAA President and CEO Ed Bolin said, While the loss of these legendary figures is sad news, 
We are honored to have an opportunity at our convention to pay tribute to the lives and the invaluable service of both Arnold Palmer and Bob Hoover. Boland noted that special recognition would be paid to both individuals throughout the show, but in particular at the event's opening sessions on the convention's first and second days. Both men have a long distinguished history with NBAA and the business aviation community. They are recipients of NBAA's Meritorious Service to Aviation Award and were routine fixtures at the association's convention. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins from important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerial-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.